Yeah, this was about to be expected. Ray Scarface brought a stall versus Curry. We're back with more World Cup. This is uh, France versus. Curry's on France versus. I think Ray's on US Central. But he brought some interesting different stall at least. No Mega Sable. Eh? Why does this look like 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 auras? Oh yeah, Ray doesn't have a doggy. That's interesting. There's no doggy, so the trend doesn't get trapped. Men's have men's really said have fun. I'm gonna switch it up. Switch it up. Mm. Yeah, I think Cory likes Bennett real well. What's a scarf or scarf Lati, I think? Yeah, I think he uses scarf Lati. So I can see Ray roosting in regular form if he's at X. Um, I th I've heard it. I think Ray likes that way. I think he's that way. No matter what, he can just roost here and scarf what the Lati goes for, unless it's like Z Thunder Lati. If he stays in regular on Z Thunder, that would be bad for him. But the Lari pretty much has to be Scarf on this team. Like Ray's either roosting or going into... Left for Gen Z. I think he's roosting, right? Look, I don't think this is a good position for Cory. Depending on his art, obviously, but. Like if he side shocks and this, like if this is bulky out, it's got, it's just gonna bounce off. And like Ray Scarf has used Volcarona and SPL, so it's not like he, it's not like he always uses stall. Like I think he brought Volcarona Dougie in SPL, so you have to like prepare for Volcarona still versus him. And if it's not Scarfy Scarf Lardy, he gets completely crushed. So he tricks. Oh my lord! I would have never made that play. I mean, you can say it's a great play, but what if he just stayed and roosted? Like, what? I, I'm i pretty sure that he was fearing... I don't know what Ray Skyvis was fearing there. I mean, maybe he was Zard X and he was fearing... He can't Mega Evolve because then he would die to Draco and if he doesn't have Mega Evolve he would die to Giga Volt Havoc so I assume he was fearing either that, either the Draco and didn't want to Mega but if he, if he was fearing Draco he just could roost it in regular form but the other thing he could fear is the Giga Volt Havoc which is not really common and shouldn't be on this team but yeah he switches into Chansey and Draco gets up his rocks his Muse pretty much crippled um, Muse is only Defogger so that's nice for Cory and it is Zard Y okay so if he was Zard Y I guess he was feeling a gigavolt havoc, and otherwise I don't understand why he switched out. Like, I know Lari should beat this one-on-one, -on -one, but... Maybe he's just offensive that way, hmm. If it's offensive that way, this makes sense why he switched out. But I was assuming that he had some bolt because it's on a stall team, or semi-stall. No, I would call it still stall. But yeah, pivots from Heatran to Lari on a focus blast, so I assume this is offensive then. I was just going off this having some bulk, which is why I didn't understand why he switched out, but it makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of hard for Ray to defog because his Mew got crippled. Um, nice plays by Kari, not going for Draco when the Clef is around. Draco also does nothing to Chansey. But yeah, you can just wish here, obviously. And the Heatran 
Oh wow. What did he predict? I mean, Hedron beats this one on one, especially in the sun. Like, I assume this Hedron is gonna have Magma Storm, uh, Earth Power. And he has Taunt to stop the recover. Yeah, this is nice. So, this Toxic Bex is pretty much dead. He can get off a Scald here, so it's gonna be like 25 or something. This, but Death Drop didn't matter. So this, the T-Spike went up, but T-Spikes only hits these two Pokemon of the Clever's Magic Guard. Toxapex goes down early. Um, I'm not really sure what this is going to do. Like, is he going to Seismic Toss he break in the Taunt? <laughs> Why did Ray use Stall without Doug? I don't get where there's a Zard on this team. Yeah, that's Smog to chat going in. YBR is talking about a different game, right? And I'm happy to be said stall isn't broken without tech. I assume that uh, Cory switched out breaking the seismic toss, yeah. I don't think he was gonna soft build there when the heat went short taunt. This clef might have knockoff or flamethrower. It has calm mind, wow. So this is the first comment Clef I ever see in Sun and Moon. <laughs> so does just just No it doesn't just win, it doesn't just win. Because he still has Unaware Clefable. He was mobilized in there potentially predicting way to go hard into his Unaware Clef. But yeah, he's gonna move uh comment up to plus six. Uh Chansey didn't get tricked. I mean, you got tricked earlier, right? Yeah. Unless this has stored power, I don't think it beats the chance. Yeah. And yeah, he already showed Calm Mind, so we already know his entire move set. It has to be softballed as he shows it there. Stealth or Calm Mind, interesting. I was like, assuming that he had knockoff because that's nice versus stall to get rid of the Violet on chance. Like, I can show you guys the Kalk plus six. How much it does was the fist of chancy. It doesn't do too too much. I think it does like forty. You see, it does thirty five to forty one, so it doesn't really do much. Like, unless he has a different spread that has some special attack. How much did this moonblast do? At a plus three at the twenty five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, it, he doesn't have special attack investment. Yeah, like, he's gonna softball, he's already played that pretty well, he got this, he basically forced him to like heal, or made him heal, and he used that turn to go in this underwear cleft, so he's gonna go for Wish here. Moonlight, wow, he doesn't have Wish, that's really interesting. That is really weird, because Moonlight only has 8 PP, so that means that he's gonna be Moonlight, Moonblast, maybe Calm Mind and Heal Bell? I'm not sure about that. Are they even talking about the game? Yeah, it's looking good for Cory. Like, I'm not sure what this specific stall set is, uh, Clefable and Clefable set is supposed to do. The stall team in general seems weird because. Hmm. I thought it was thought it was June six until I saw the packs. Like he only has Mew as a defog of Razad Y, which is already crippled with a choice scarf. He goes into Heat and Mew is obviously gonna be faster because it has the scarf. But the thing is like Ray kinda has the defog, but he also it also doesn't get him much because if he defogs, he also gets rid of the T spike on Cory's side. I mean the T spike only hits the 
move out into Gastron. But it would still help a bit. This Toxic Pact was a jack button, and he had a duck trio. This would have been a different story. Are we interested in his uh, Gastron side of his um, Fist Death Gastron with Curse? I uh, like, or like Spid Death. No, no, I think he's gonna be Spid Death. Yeah, he has to be Spid Death Gastron. For like Ash Greninja and stuff like that, or Greninja in general. I'm just wondering if he's cursed, that's what I meant to say. I mean, the Rayman had a nice play getting Zard in on the, on the Club Fable, but the thing is he was forced to roost kinda because of Stealth Rock. Oh, Blunder said he used TDK's team that was similar. Lefty said the worst stuff I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Blunder used a team like this in her life, I do remember this. But I think, didn't Blunder's team have like... Gastron... Gastron, Tangros, Clefable, Chansey, Zard, Y, and... What was in the last slot? I don't remember. I think Ash Greninja, right? But not that, that 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 doesn't that doesn't sound right because then he didn't have a defogger. Maybe he had a Skarmory or something. I don't remember the team that blended youth in life. This doesn't even have a scarf anymore. This getting leftovers is pretty nice because it like gets passive recovery that helps to check the Zard Y a little bit better. So it does have Ice Beam on you, but if this has Roost, it would be pretty nice. But not sure if he has Roost. Because some people run, I'm pretty sure this has defog. Like, I'm pretty sure it has to be defog because he has, like, we will let us weak to rocks. And, like, sometimes when they get multiple hazards, you kind of want, uh, like, you want to defog, like, in some situ situations is basically what I'm trying to say. So, he just taunt breaking the slack of a uh, soft bolt. I mean, like, I've also built with uh, Trick into Roost, Ladi. When I have another defogger, but on this team it's gonna be defog, yeah. And they've also seen NGMP use it. So I think Curry still wants health on his heat rune, right? Hmm. I don't know what Curry's gonna do here though, because if he stays in. Magma Storm 1, it can miss. And his heatron will pretty much die if he stays into two seismic tosses. That's the other thing. I <laughs> got using some RS shit. Yeah, he does miss, that's what I'm saying, like, if you stay in and you miss, it's just really annoying. Okay, but you don't get to it KO'd, but he basically loses if he stays in to the Chansey. Like, he doesn't lose the match, but he loses his heat to Chansey, is what I'm trying to say. If he stays in after that miss... Yeah, and Chansey can live another Magma Storm, and the Taunt should end here. I think Gray's just gonna Seismic Toss again, predicting the Taunt. Exactly. So this Chansey basically only heals, it doesn't heal on anything other than Call Fable or Gastrodon maybe. No other games going on other than Gen 2, I'm not gonna watch that. I see team I think Team France is doing okay. I haven't followed their matches like not every match, but like yesterday or so I checked the score and they were not doing too bad. And yeah, Cory's I think 0-2. He got um hexed a little bit versus Mazar when he got stalled. And he lost also versus Versus Blunder when Blunder brought rain and he didn't really have a good rain resist. And I think this is Ray Scarface's first game so far. 
And yeah, people kind of were expecting stall. I was. Uh, I kind of expected Raiders to change it up and not bring stall. But yeah, he's just gonna click knock off here because, like, what is Ray gonna do? Like, he either checks his chance or he sacks the Mew. And if he sacks the Mew, basically, he can't defog for Zard. Like, he cannot go. Like, Clefable might be able to lift knock off twice, like, two knock offs, because the second knock off is weaker, like, if this is banned, we were. But it's not. I think it's not the play. I think he just. He's like, is that a chance you're the Mew? You probably sack the Mew because it's choice scarf locked. I mean, the thing is, he kind of has to keep the Mew because. Cory's Stealth Rock Setter is still alive. So he basically wants to kill Cory's Stealth Rock Setter. He was Hard Weaver, uh, Hard Tangle as well. So he's um, Rocky Helmet Tangle. So I obviously didn't know his Tangle set. If he's Fist Death Tangle, that was the correct play, definitely. They're saying, why wouldn't you crash? Yeah, for some reason I was expecting him to knock off, but crash hit everything. But the thing is, knock off is just 100% accurate. Like, I can kind of stand curry that he didn't want to miss. But yeah, now that I think about it, crash was free there. And like, besides that you can miss, obviously. So there's gonna be sleep powder. Giga Drain, Hidden Power Ice, I assume, for Zygarde, and then it's either Leech Seed, or if you're worried about Tabu Bulu, you can run Sludge Bomb. Because I can see Tabu Bulu with SD being a little bit annoying to this team. It's a Giga Drain crit, and the thing is, this Clefable kind of wins with the chance he being so low. If he gets another Calm Mind, like, yeah, he gets rid of the lefties, but I don't think that matters. Like, Ray still has an unaware Clefable, yes. But it only has 8 Moonlights. I think it only has 7 left, right? It only used, already used one, I think. I just want to figure out if the chance he would die to plus one Moonblast after rocks. That's gonna be plus two probably. Yeah, it definitely dies. So it goes into Mew and he's gonna defog here. I think. Now he goes for Ice Beam, wow. Like I understand that you like that Cory can get rocks back up. And that you like want the T spikes for the gas run, but still. I thought he would default for his odd wife for now. So now he's gonna go underwear clef, I assume, and click that moonlight button. Okay, so the, the T spike did come in handy in clutch because he did go on a gastrodon. So I assume this has toxic. But if this runs like minimum speed with a minus speed nature. Doesn't Chansey outspeed him anyway? Like, Chansey should outspeed this. So, if he goes Chansey, he is going to be able to softball. So, I can see Cory predicting that. But this is a really weird stall team. He did go Tangrowth. Yeah, I think Earthquick might have killed the Chansey. He did Earthquick overclicking Scald. So, he had, in a, he had definitely. He was definitely thinking about the potential Chansey switch in there. As this Tangrowth is well trained, it keeps getting crits, but. I'm pretty sure Cory has this game if he just plays it well. Like rocks are pretty annoying for Ray. So yeah, this calm mind, which is the only reason why you run Moonlight on Underwear Clef. Over Wish, so you get another move slot to run Calm Mind. Moonblast, and then it's either like stored power or like what else? Oh no, it, no, it's probably heal bell. If the chancy was... I don't know if the chancy had heal bell, I didn't pay attention to this set. It was like seismic toss. 
a soft boiled toxic and rocks I don't think it had yeah I think it had rocks I don't think it had heal bell so Wraith if he gets toxic tier and he yeah I'm pretty sure he has heal bell like otherwise this doesn't make any sense to me he has to have heal bell like this this, this Clefable is putting in some work for Ray does he not have heal bell Oh, he went Shanty Brick and he recovered. That's a fire play. Now he gets a softball off. So I assume he's gonna try to, like, uh, heal Bell his Clefable later on. He just preferred to, like, heal up his Shanty, which is understandable. Because he saw his opportunity there because he knew the Gaston was going for recover. So he's gonna go on a Tangro here, right? What the damage to the Landris, by the way? Like, how is this Landris so low? I'm assuming this is a Z-move Landris. Moonblast did 42 from Cool Fable. That looks like offensive damage to me. Like, the Landris should be offensive. Yeah, yeah, 42 is like a high roll for Moonblast. So there's definitely some sort of Z-move mon, like he doesn't have another Z-move mon, like Sekis Charm was leftovers, right? Pretty sure it was. Yeah, yeah, the turn was leftovers, his Lari was scarfed, this is leftovers, this is leftovers, this is bandit. Only potential Z-move user. I know not every team has to have a Z-move user. But it makes some sense on this like it makes sense on this team because you know Ray Scarf is like fat Pokemon. And Z-move Landers like like Sky Strike would kill Tangros, uh, Continental Crush after SD. There's a lot to Skarmory. Like that's just just some examples. What is Ray gonna do here? Like, I think his only play is the Seismic Toss kill from 33. I think, yeah, it was about to say his only play is Tangrowth, right? So, if this is Supersonic Sky Strike. Yeah, like, Ray has to sack something here if it's Supersonic Sky Strike. But I could see being Conan will crush because that helps with the Skarmory on stall that the race that Ray usually uses on the standard stall team. Yeah, I don't think he has Sky Strike. He would have gone for it there if he had it, I'm pretty sure. So, he had rocks and landers, right? Oh no, he shot Earthquake only. What was the Stealth Rocker? Oh, it was Clefable. Mm -hmm. Stealth Rocks Clefable makes a lot of sense because he just went for Moonblast, so this is gonna soft build up. She says, I'm calm mining, I've had enough. It is losing leftovers. I don't know why he softballed there. I don't agree with that one because he should have like calm minded first. Because he was at 66, so there was no reason to softball when you're that healthy, right? Because you want to like get the optimum out of softball. But yeah, it's fine. Um, it shouldn't. We will see. I don't know if he beats this one on one. He says. It has eight, 18 seismic tosses left. Like, this will run out of softballs, I think. So, we know this is Rock Clef, right? Which makes me think that the Landers could be some sub SD variant with Earthquake and Continental Crush. Um, it, I could also see SD Earthquake. 
As the earthquake. Smackdown. And then see Stone Edge in the last move. But I'm not 100% sure. Now, if you run Z Stone Edge, you probably don't have Smackdown in the same set. I'm not sure, man. I could also see Sub as D Landris. I mean, he only has six softballs left versus two. Yeah, the chance he might run out of, might run out of um, seismic toss before the Clefable runs out of softball. I'm not 100% sure. But I think basically what Ray is doing here, uh, what Corey is doing here, is wasting the softballs from the chancy, so. If Chansey doesn't have softball left, he can kill with Psyshock from Lardy or with um, Knock Off or Icicle Crash from Meanwhile. But Chansey is annoying, and if it doesn't have softball left, it's just gonna be dead pretty much. What are you talking about in the chat? The chat is kind of confusing me. I think they're talking about one of the Gen 2 or Gen 3 games. I also gotta eat, man. And like, it's just... Not that interesting. Like, he's spamming softball and he's spamming Moonblast. And when he's spamming Seismic Toss, he's spamming softball. Like, that's just what happens when people bring stall and just... Probably gonna s he Ray predicts the softball and goes into his clef, but his clef is poisoned, and this is a good chunk. I mean, he moonlights, but he's still poisoned. Like the thing is, Corey didn't attack, so he can heal Bell here if he has it. But he only has five moonlights left. How many moon blasts does Corey have? Only eight. Yeah, I think that race Clef beats this one on one. But it will also be pretty low on moonlight. Like he's forced to heal bell here soon. Why is he not heal belling? I don't get it. I guess comment helps him to take the next moonlight better, but if he doesn't heal bell here, I don't understand what's going on. Moonlight first, yeah, it knows to avoid the crit maybe but like you, the toxic is getting stronger right this is where's the heal bell at like if he doesn't have heal bell he's gone like what I saw this at heal bell in the last slot was what if this doesn't have heal bell this is nice for Cory so he's gonna moon blast again here I mean Cory's out of moon blast soon I always raised Clef Toxic, I think it was by the Gastro. Yeah, I think Ray loses this, yeah. This this encourage should have won already. So there goes the Tangrowth. Not really sure what he predicted there. Did he really not have Moon Heal Bell on his Clefable? That's so weird. I guess he was just staying in with his Clefable for a few turns to waste um yeah to waste some Moonblast. So because Chansey was like running low on soft builds. so he's gonna soft build here obviously. Cory gets one crit that speeds up the game. 
Like Bandit Weaver in the back is looking like a big problem for Ray, even though with the rocks have been poison. It's only gonna get like one or two attacks off. Yeah, if you clicked Isaac Crash earlier. Mm. Probably would have gotten an, a kill there, but the thing is, you don't want to risk the miss, so I can understand that. Chloe's timer is running down. I'm not sure if he's thinking about switching out. Wasn't the view a pretty obvious choice, Bennett? I don't know what the chat is talking about. Yeah, I had it pause for like 50 seconds or something because they're just not making a play. Mazar said he might be, he would be done. To play with Scarface, but I'm not sure if we're going to see that afterwards. But I would, that would be cool. I would be interested in that. Oh, Ray told him he had no time until 2nd July. Okay, so yeah, Ray is just going to play this game. Look at Curry's timer going down from like 270 seconds to 100 to 90 now. He's fine if he's on team, yeah, but I don't want to see a recreation, hello. <laughs> Maybe he had to piss. <laughs> he started cocking and tag game in his head. Okay, so he finally Moonblast. Took him long enough, man. So he has four Moonblasts left. This has two soft birds left. So now he beats this one-on-one. -on -one. But Ray also has his underwear cleft in the back. But I don't think he can switch his underwear cleft hard in. I think... Cory's Clef was fast, if I recall correctly earlier. He does switch it in though. Doesn't this get to it KO'd with poison? Oh, he didn't attack. But this is fine for uh, Cory. If this doesn't have heal bell, he can just click rocks again. Or call mind or any random move. Because if this doesn't have... This doesn't have heal bell, he's just gonna take passive damage from poison. So that Cory doesn't have to attack him. If <laughs> I said why did he not spam Moonblast, yeah. I'm pretty sure he could have Moonblasted, but like... I don't understand what the last move on this clef would be if it's not heal bell. Is it stored power? Is it flamethrower for scissors? Like, you're not weak to scissor, you have a Pax and a Zard Y. I'm not sure what it is. It would be interesting to know. Maybe we will find out. Like a stall team without heal bell would be weird. The Mew had Ice Beam, and so the Mew, we know the Mew, Mew. Oh god, why can I not talk? We pretty much know the entire Mew move set, because it has to be Ice Beam, Willow, West, Defog, Roost, right? So, like, Mew gets heal bell potentially, which is why I was talking about the Mew move set. So, if he doesn't have heal bell, this is entire team doesn't have heal bell, which is weird. I mean, I get that this chance he has natural cure and burn is nerfed, but still. Like on a stall team, you just want healable, in my opinion. See, so this go for Moonlight as Cory switches out into Gastrodon. 
I still, oh man, I hope he won't just he won't be back in with his club later to calm it up. That's gonna take forever. Yeah, I think Kari got a kill by spamming Moonblast. Like he either killed this or the Chansey or something. Like the Zard, what does Zard die after rocks to Moonblast? Like if Zard takes more than half. Uh, yeah, Zardwa takes 58. No wonder that Ray hasn't been switching the analytical fable. Because Zardwa doesn't take like 40 at, from plus 6 Moonblast. He could stay and uh, switch the and Roost. Because it was pretty low on Moonblast. But yeah, that's the Zard in finally. After he, they were scalding and Moonblasting each other, and they were both poisoned, so they can't stay in forever. So Cory is either gonna go Ladi here, but Ladi is at 24, so Ladi dies to flamethrower. I don't know if it dies to solar beam, but it dies to flamethrower. Um, I can see him second his Landorus, even though. Yeah, I see. I'm not sure. I can see him second Lando or Ladi, and then go to Weewell. Oh, if he sex Landers, he can go to Ladi, obviously, after. He only showed EQ, maybe I'll ask what the Lando set is. I'm pretty sure it has to be Z-Move, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had Rocks on Clive, which is obviously understandable, because if Ray would, would have a Sabla, you want to get Rocks up versus that. Like, scared out, even though it was in the PDC game, like... I don't know how long it was ago, a few days or a week. No, I think it was like four or five days ago. There was like... <laughs> PTC just kept staying in with the Sabler and the rocks from the cliff and he switched out on the Moonblast and the correct turn. He just played that really brilliant. Or like, I don't know, he just got in the opponent's head. It was also obviously really risky plays. Because if you stay in with Sabler and Cliff Fable, it's, like, it's obviously risky. But he just He just got every play correct with his Sabler. And the cliff ran the cliff ran out of moonblast eventually. But yeah, pretty nice if Cory can pick up this win because he got subbed in for kick ass and would be a bit sad if he would go 0 3. And like I know him a little bit, right? He's in my Discord. And he's pretty nice, like, he's chill, but, yeah, he wasn't called, like, for one or two of my recordings, but I couldn't really understand him well. I don't know if it was because he has a bad mic or bad internet. He also has a French accent. I don't have a problem with French accent, but, like, I think the internet was bad. Like, I couldn't really understand. He was super low. Yeah, I don't really know what to talk about, because, like, this game is not that... Interesting, but like I don't think he would sack his Gastron. Yeah, like I said, he either sacks the Lando or the Ladi, but he does get it in on the solo beam. He might live. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He, and the leftovers um, helping him out here, because uh, if he gets another run of leftovers, he might be able to live Stealth Rock. Wow, Finch said Cory just choked so bad. I mean, did he need the guest run for anything? I guess I'm bad then. Like, as. <laughs> yeah, I guess he should have just. He should have sacked the guest run instead, I guess. I'm bad. Holy fuck. Get a min roll. Mm. Wait, did Ray win if this goes down? I mean, Kari didn't lose if this goes down, but. It's Definitely a bit annoying for him. Because if he goes in the wee while, I don't know if Bennett knockoff kills his Zard from 51. God, why does it not have a choice, Bennett said in the calculator? Yeah, knockoff to 61. So he could have just clicked. Hmm. 
Like if he came in after, we will have to second either the Gastrodon or the Landorus. Pretty much got a kill with knockoff, right? Or with Isaac? No, with Isaac a crush too. Now Chansey still has a Violet, so I think knockoff would be overall the better play. And I guess Gastron doesn't do that much. Um, the only thing I thought he should save the Gastron because he has recover and can help stall out some PP from race team, but it probably wasn't the correct play. But I can't really think clear, man. Like this is just this just gets me mad. Like every dude, like every game stall, 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 and like I'm. I'm annoyed because there were like four or five games that I recorded that I didn't upload because it was like I had to pre-narrate them. He sacks off the cleft. So Zada's at 1% now. Like I didn't upload them, but they were not stall. And I think people are gonna get get annoyed if I only upload stall games. But it's like, it's not that I only upload stall games. It's just like they are bringing stall like so often. Oh well, let's calm down. Okay, they're going wild over this Gen 1 game, I think, in the chat. I'm not gonna click on that. Is it for a small one classic? I think that's over already. Not sure what it's for. No idea. I don't really follow these old Gen tours. I mean, we noticed Chansey has... No, we don't know the last move yet. I, so I guess he could have healed on this chance instead. I thought it was set in stone that he has... I thought it was set in stone that he has Toxic on this or... So, what else could he have? I guess he he's probably healed on this then. Because otherwise this, he doesn't have healed on the stall team. Oh well. I thought the, I thought the entire time he doesn't have healed on the team, but I guess he had it on this. I thought it already revealed Toxic. But the Gastron got poisoned and the Clef and Weaver got poisoned by the T-Spike, not by Toxic from this. So yeah, that, that was an error on my part, man. I'm messing up. I just want to eat and it just stall game takes forever. <laughs> like, see, that's what I meant. Gastron can still be nice in the sense that this way is seismic tosses and you can now recover. So like some stalls and PP and stuff like that. Chat is going wild over the Gen 1 game, not over this game that I'm watching. They're going super wild. Didn't Ray use this team in SPL? I remember Ray using, I, th I don't remember if it was that Y, but it's, I think a team like this. So the that Y goes down, I think he predicted, I don't know what he predicted, but I think Ray basically forfeited. So he poisons this Chansey, Chansey's the last one, so it obviously can't win. And if he has Heal Bell, he's either a nice guy and he doesn't show it to save us some time. Oh, he doesn't have it. And Cory picks up a win. He is one and two, and his yeah, he went one and two in his three games. He could have been two and one, but I don't mind that he got hexed with Mazar because Mazar on Team Germany, and I, you know, I got a root for my German team. I mean, I'm not on the team, but like I'm German basically. You know what I'm saying? We ended for before turn 100. This is like weird because ABR's game was like around the same turns but the game was way faster but yeah thank you guys for watching anyway i really gotta get some food like i lost i couldn't really concentrate like you probably know how it feels when you don't eat enough like don't eat enough you can't think clear it's like kind of you feel kind of tired stuff like that if you don't eat enough but yeah Corey picks up a win for team of france i don't think us central is doing too too well uh, we can actually check it real quick to be honest um Spreadsheet. US Central, yeah, I see that they're, they're like pretty, they're like pretty low in the ranking, and they're not doing too well. 
And I think Meeps is playing versus Jamet. Like, I don't know which day they rescheduled. They were supposed to play yesterday. And France, they're doing pretty wealthy. They are. They just updated to 10 and 6 after Curry's win. And yet, yeah, Germany. Oof, not bad. Germany is doing okay. I mean, I think France is doing better than Germany. 10 and 6 seems better than 12 and 9. But they're just. They have just more wins. Like obviously some teams are lower on this because they have played less games. Like I think like how I see it is 10-6 is a better win loss than 12-9. But since they have less wins, Germany has more points. I don't know how many points we get for a win. Do you get three points? I don't know how this exactly works. But thank you guys for watching. And I think yeah, Fruity is playing soon for Asia. I'll try to catch that. He's playing versus Greece. Mm -hmm. So yeah, peace out. See you in the next game later.